It is difficult to give an exact description of your plant's growth rate and life cycle since the type of plants that can be grown in your system can vary greatly. However, this guide will cover most indoor veggie varieties as we assume most people are growing tomatoes or similar plants. You can start your plants either from seed or from clones. If you're starting from seeds, germination will take one to seven days on average. If you're starting from clones, you can reduce your growing cycle by a week or two, plus you know you have the best genetics for strong, healthy plants. Your plants should be allowed to grow in the germination and or vegetative plant phases under 24 hours of light until your written instructions tell you at what height to flower. You can germinate your seeds in the organic starter plugs that come with your system, or in the case of clones, you can directly transplant them into your hydroponic system by following the directions in the hydroponic setup system. Never use the paper towel method to germinate seeds, as this often results in torn and damaged micro-roots that stresses the seed a great deal. In the vegetation stage, your plants will be growing from seedlings to small adults. Your plants grow best under a high-powered LED or metal halide bulb during the vegetation stage. If you have any of our larger systems, then the LED UFOs or metal halide bulb is the pre-installed one. During this stage, your plants will have the fastest growth. Generally, you want your plants to be in the vegetative stage until they are one-third of their adult size. During the flowering stage, your plants will start to show signs of their sex. Watch the gender identification section for further details on how to determine plant sex and which sex is preferable. To switch to the flowering stage, you will shorten your light cycle by 12 hours a day and switch to your high pressure sodium bulb or continue using your LED array. The LED panels have a mix of both blue and red uh, bulbs which simulate MH and HPS lighting systems. Note that some people recommend only 18 hours of light per day during the veg and then switch to 12 hours of darkness. This works fine, however, when switching from a full 24 hours of light to 12, we notice that the flowering effect occurs fast, faster and shaves a few days off the overall cycle times. Usually you should be able to notice when your plants are fully grown as they will fully develop buds and fruit. Never cut away at your adult plant and try to regrow new buds and flowers as this process will often take twice as long as starting from fresh seeds or clones. Once your plant has reached its full budding potential, which can often be seen with a microscope, or is apparently visible with growing larger fruits such as tomatoes, you can cut it at its base and proceed to trim and dry. Thanks for watching.